Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Is Automation Channel. Today in this session, we're going to discuss about how to create a post API request using a Karate framework and how we're going to add some assertions for that response after hitting the post request. So let's see how we can start doing the post request. In case if you are new to the session, do watch my earlier sessions where we have discussed about the project structure and the get API request and with some assertions. So do learn those if you wanted to start the Karate framework in your day to day activity. So let's get started and open Eclipse IDE. So this is a project that we are going to create and in the framework. This is a Karate Framework Automation project under that source test Java and this package called Testing Karate APIs. So there I'm going to create one new file. So which is called test post request dot feature. Right. So simply delete all. So this is a feature we are going to discuss called demo post APIs and this is a scenario in the scenario we're gonna do some test post API so in the given so I hope you all know the Gherkin language by now so if you wanted to learn Gherkin language so I will share the Cucumber framework related sessions in the description. You can uh, start working on the Cucumber framework, which I have did with the Java framework. So you can refer to them if you wanted to learn this entire Gherkin keywords. And in the given statement, what we need to provide, we need to provide the precondition, which is called uh, URL. So URL is, so as part of this, we have to get the URI right so in case if you are working with a project you can take the post API request or if you wanted to do some practice so there are some open websites so this is the REQ RES website so I will share this link as well so there you can refer to this website and you can start working or you can practice the API testing so I'm gonna take one of the create API request which is nothing but a post request and in the post request it will accept or it will take the payload so for that we need to go to this request and this is the body so for that i'm gonna simply say then again request so this is a request that we are trying to provide our data to our post api so this is a keyword and this is a json format payload but in this cucumber framework we have to give them an entirely as a one line so that it will understand else it will throw the errors so after then statement i wanted to hit the when method method called post then status 201 i'm expecting and print print response I'm gonna do a pretty format and run as cucumber feature so it is running now you can see the logs here right it has executed and let me go to the project and I'm gonna simply refresh right after refreshing you will find the target folder in the project and go to the karate report and go to the karate summary HTML so there are multiple reports but always refer to this karate reports only without any uh, numbers after ending so let me open this karate summary report with browser think there is some failure I think there is one spelling mistake I will correct it this is response so I'm gonna simply run again 
so we have to check the spellings because these are nothing but a methods or a keywords that we are using as part of karate framework so like a response like a request url so like this we have few more so we have to always uh, write correct spellings there so that it will execute and get the report accurately so all passed you can see everything is in green color now after hitting this i wanted to add some assertions towards the response that i'm what i'm getting so for that we have some formats or we have some approaches where we can ver verify the response so i will share few now so in the get abi automation we have checked few so i'm not going to repeat them now so we are going to discuss new assertions so do follow both sessions so that you will write different different assertions based on your response so then i'm using a then statement here so then match match so i'm i can use a response as a name or i can simply use the dollar symbol this is referring to the response also and now i'm using the contains and in the contains i'm using this flower braces uh, curly braces under that i'm gonna use this id and like a json how we provide right so similarly i'm providing so first time i wanted to see i will get my id but i wanted to say that it shouldn't be null so for that i can use some markers we have so different different markers in the karate framework so you can refer those markers so this is nothing but not null so this is a one statement so this will check that I don't know how many type of IDs that it will generate keep on uh, hitting the request so I don't know the which ID it is but I am saying that ID should be there but it shouldn't be null it shouldn't be empty so if you go back to the report in the response so we are getting this ID right so ID has some value I wanted to see that ID value is not null so this is one statement and the same statement I can uh, write in another way where instead of not null whatever it may be but it has to be a string so it has to be a string so for that i can simply use string so then match dollar symbol contains id and then followed by string so this is also one of the marker where this string will allow that it has something a value there it is in the format of string format so that it will verify and we have some uh, some more uh, uh, markers like ignore null so we have some boolean also and uh, we have number so there are different specific purpose that we can utilize in the assertions so you can follow my session so i will uh, discuss them uh, as part of the sessions and now this is a one way of doing the approach called contains and now i will use one more approach so this time i will use asset asset also we can use asset response and this response contains so this response contains we have name also in the report so there is the name right so this is a name I wanted to do the assertion on this as well so this is a name I wanted to verify this is present in my response or not so this is another way this is a match format this is a assert format so let me uh, quickly run this so that you will understand it is working or not right it is started running it has executed let me go back to the report and refresh right so there is one uh, statement fail we will see that and these two statements are passed you can see this match format is passed and this one is failed I think we are seeing the syntax error Okay, let me go back to the project and let me remove the spaces so instead of response let's use this dollar symbol only so asset contains 
wait let me rerun wait as executed refresh still it is showing the error maybe it is not working with the asset let's try with the uh, match only here match and again i'm running this project right it has worked now maybe with the contents that we are using here it is not correctly working with the asset keyword so let me use another case now if you people wanted to verify that entire response is working okay or not i wanted to verify in one shot so for that we can use one approach called uh, then so now i can use match response and now i wanted to verify entire response so i'm going to use this double equals so in that i wanted to go to this print response and i will take the entire response from here and i will use this but before that now see here the name we can expect that it is it will not change and we will expect based out of request and the job is also similar to that but id is keep on changing so for that we can use the markers like uh, marker string where it will check that it has a value but it is in a format of string but it is always having something there and in the created at so it's a date format so every time it will not be the same so for that i can just simply go and remove that and i can say that ignore so for now just ignore the date format and just work with whatever it is coming there so it will verify this name has this name and the job has this leader and the id has some value and without having empty and we will put all in the one place or one line and and right so we have got entirely into one line so do a pretty format and simply run as cucumber feature right it has done execution refresh right entire assertions are got passed now you can see match it has match with contains and match with response everything and with then markers like string and ignore so we have used all these markers and uh, assertions and for this session i have planned only this few uh, to get the sessions shorter so in the next session we're going to discuss more about the post api request so do stay tuned for the another session and we'll share you all the details with respect to how we're gonna pass the request and how we're gonna verify the response so all these things we will see in the next session again and in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague and if you face any errors issues or having some problem in the framework designing so do post a comment in my comment box and i will help you out and thank you for watching